Hello guys, welcome back to Amazon Web Webcast. And in this video demonstration, we are going to see how we can add a Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller to an existing Windows Server 2003 forest infrastructure. So before this demonstration, let's check what we have. So I have a Windows Server 2003 domain controller and that is the root domain controller for our forest and our domain name is uh, mylab.local. So this is our domain and if you check the function level, uh, we have a domain function level Windows Server 2003 and forest function level is Windows Server 2003 also. So this is the lowest required domain functional level that would allow a Windows Server 2012 R2 as a domain controller in your forest infrastructure. So let's click on OK and uh, as well as we have a working DNS. So if you check that we have a two zone and it's called mscs.mylab.local and mylab.local. So let's check the IP configuration. So the IP configuration is 192.168.10.10 that is the IP address of this domain controller. So before we start preparing AD for a new Windows Server 2004 DC, we need to be sure that we are a member of Enterprise Admin Group. So let's try that. Currently I am logging as an administrator and if we check the uh, administrator's group membership and see that we are a member of Enterprise Admission and then we are sure for that we can start the installation. So let's go ahead. On other VM, uh, I have a Windows Server 2012 R2. So install your new box with Windows Server 2012 R2 and change the default server name. Uh, let's check that. So as you are seeing, uh, my computer name is uh, 2k12r2-dc02. So I change the default server name to this name and uh, make sure you have a, a static IP address. So currently uh, IP version 4 address is assigned by DHCP. So let's set a static IP address. Let's go to the property and let's specify IP version 4 address. And uh, that will be 192.168.10.11. Gateway will be 192.168.10.1. And our preferred DNS server is 10.10. .10. That is the IP address of our Windows Server 2003 DC. Okay, close and closes. Uh, let's check the NS lookup. Okay, it's working fine. So we have a network connectivity. You can also check through ping 10.10. .10. Okay, so we have a network connectivity with, with, between these two VM and now we are ready to uh, install Active Directory Domain Service on this VM. So click on Manage, select Add Roles and Features. On Before You Begin page, click on Next. On Select Installation Type, select Role Base or Feature Base Installation and then click on Next. On Select a Destination Server, make sure your local server is selected and then click on Next. Select Active Directory Domain Service. Select Add Features that are required by Active Directory Domain Service to work properly. OK. And click on Next. Click on Next on Select Features page. This is all your information about Active Directory Domain Service. Click on Next on that page. And on Confirm Installation section, click on Install to start the installation of Active Directory Domain Service. This will take some time, so I'm going to pause the video recording. Okay, so Active Directory Domain Service installation is completed and now it's saying configuration is required. Uh, click on over here to promote this server to a domain controller. Click on it. And then there are options for deployment. So we are going to deploy a domain controller to an existing domain. So that's why I'm going to select the first box and then specify the name of our uh, domain and that is mylab.local. Let's specify the credential of uh, the administrator. At mylab.local uh, and use password. Okay, so now click on next. So here's a warning message. Click over, click on show more. A domain controller running Windows Server 2008 or later could not be located in this domain. So to install a read-only domain controller, the domain must have at least one domain controller and that must be running on a Windows Server 2008, uh, 2008 or later versions of Windows Server OS. So we are not going to install uh, RODC and that's why uh, I just select two box, domain name, DNS is also included and with Google Developer. The site name is default first name name and just specify the DSRMO password. 
click on next that's about the DNS delegation so I click over there and click on next that's about the additional uh, options is there for installation from India so we will replicate from directly from uh, our uh, domain controller using our network ok so click on next this is about the default path uh, for database and log files and syswall I leave it to default value and then I will click on next ok now this wizard informs you that schema and domain preparation need to be done as you did not run uh, any prep before it will be executed in a background for you so just uh, going back to Windows Server 2003 VM let's open a rag edit inside HK local machine system current control set services and NTDS under NTDS uh, click on parameters and as you are seeing the current schema version is 30 to support Windows Server 2012 R2 as a domain controller your horror schema version must be at 69 and that is currently at 30 so we have to uh, update the schema and that's why it's asking for this so click on next and this is our review information click on next and it's checking the prerequisites so you can uh, also uh, upgrade your schema before you start the uh, domain controller promotion so for that you have to mount a windows server 2012 r2 disk on uh, windows server 2003 vm and inside that disk you will find out edprep.exe utilities and with the help of that edprep utilities you can upgrade your schema so currently all prerequisites check pass successfully now we can click on install to begin the installation so I click I'm going to clicking on install and that will start the uh, active directory domain service configuration wizard to promote this server as a domain controller in our existing forest so as you are seeing here's the message saying that upgrading forest so currently it's going for a schema upgradation and uh, this will take some time to complete now as you are seeing uh, it's saying that upgrading domain and if you coming back on a windows server 2003 vm see it's currently at 30 and again i'm going to open rag edit close it and now let's open rag edit as you are seeing the schema version is at 69 okay so i'm back on to get your r2 vm and once the installation is complete your server will restart automatically So after restart, log on to Windows Server 2000 R2 VM as a domain administrator and I'm just logging as a MyLab administrator and now your server is successfully promoted as a domain controller. Let's open Active Directory users and computers and inside under mylab.local you will find out a domain controller container and here we go. We have a two domain controller. One is a 2K3 FNDC01 that is uh, running on Windows Server 2003 and then we have a 2K12R2DC01 that is running on a Windows Server 2012R2 Data Center Evolution Edition. So that's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.